Hello everyone! I wanted to just make my own video to step you through how to make a RGB or red, green, blue filtered colored image using the Micro Observatory Imaging software. This is for astronomy, um, Physics 101 Astronomy at McKendree University. I just thought it might help if I step you through it the way I do it just so we get the same save format of images and all that kind of information. So at this point, you've already watched the earlier video explaining how to get your images from your email and put them into a folder on your computer. So I've opened up the Micro Observatory Imaging software. So you should be able to do that on your computer. Simply open up the program. The program is pretty simple at this point. It looks like a blank screen. Let's open up our images to start. So to do this, I'm going to go ahead and close this little box because we don't really need it. Go to File, File, Open Image on Local Disk. Okay, here's my folder, Micro Observatory Images. Okay, so I saved my images as Eagle Nebula blue, green, and red. So I'm going to open up each of those individually. So Eagle Nebula red, open. Again, file, open image on local disk, Eagle Nebula green, open. File, open image on disk, Eagle Nebula blue. And then finally we need our dark image. File, open image on local disk. And I labeled this one Dark D Eagle just because I had some other data in there. So go ahead and open up your dark image. Open. So now you have your red, green, and blue filter and your dark image. So to start, let's just auto adjust these images so we can see what is behind these images. Open up Process, Adjust Image. This gives you this little toolbox here. Go ahead and select the dark filter, select Auto. This auto adjusts this. The dark image is all the hot pixels on the detector, all the kind of noise in the image that we're going to want to get rid of. So I'll go ahead and move this one over here. We just used that one. I'm going to select the blue filter, select auto adjust. Aha, now we can start to see something. That's the Eagle Nebula. I'm going to move this one over here, select the green filter, and click auto. Auto adjusted, move that over. Finally, click on the red. On my toolbar here, select Auto, and we can now see this image a bit clearer. Okay, I'm just going to move these back so we have our red, our green, and our blue filter, and then our dark image. So the first thing we want to do is to dark subtract our images. So we have images. These images have the same noise that occurs in the dark image. So what we can do is we can physically subtract this noise in the dark image from each of our colored images. So let's do that to start. So let's select our first image. I'm going to click on the blue filter image. Come up to process, image calculator. Image 1, I've selected the blue image. I'm going to subtract, so change the operation to subtract. And I'm going to subtract the dark image, the dark filtered image. So select image 2 is dark and select OK. This creates a new image, which is a dark subtracted image of the blue filter. So I need to save this. So select on the untitled image and select Save As. You're going to save it as a FITS file. So select FITS. I'm going to save it back into my, um, my same folder, so Micro Observatory folder. And I'm going to say this was the Eagle Nebula, so E-A-G-L Eagle nebula. It was the blue filter, so I'll say blue, and it was dark subtracted, so dark sub, and it's a FITS file, so dot F-I-T-S. So make sure you include all of that. The name of the object, the filter, blue, it was dark subtracted, and it's a FITS file, so dot F-I-T-S. Then go ahead and click Save. Okay, now you'll see it comes up and it's changed the name to Eagle Nebula underscore blue underscore dark sub dot fits. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this for all of our other ones. You can select the Eagle Nebula one we just used and close that out. You, you do not need to save it. All right, let's do the same thing for the green filter. So select your green filter. We're going to dark subtract the green filter. Process, image calculator. Image one is the green filter. Operation, subtract. Subtracting the dark image, select OK. Now we need to save it. 
So save as a FITS file. I'm going to save it in my image folder. This is the Eagle Nebula. So I'll say Eagle Nebula. It's the green filter. Green. It's a dark subtracted. So dark sub and it's a FITS file. That F-I-T-S. And save. And there we go. So I can close out my old green filter image. I do not need to save it. And last, let's do the red. So select the red process, image calculator, red filter, operation is subtract, image or subtracting is the dark. And say OK. Make sure you select on the untitled, file, save as, a fits file. I'm going to my same folder. Eagle Nebula, Red Filter, Dark, Subtract, dot F-I-T-S, and Save. Alright, let's see, we have to change the name. I can go ahead and delete my red one. Okay, so now let's, we can go ahead and, we can, we're done with the dark subtraction. So we've gotten rid of a lot of the noise. So go ahead and close out the dark subtraction. Don't need to save it. Alright. Let's auto adjust these images one more time. So select on the red, use the same toolbar that was up here, and say auto. Now select on the green, select auto. Select the blue, and auto. Alright, now we have adjusted these images one more time. We can do a bit more image adjustment to make these images look a little prettier. So I'm going to select my blue image come up to process and say reduce noise okay it reduces some of the noise let's do the same thing to the green process reduce noise select the red process reduce noise alright now we can also sharpen the image so starting with the red select process and sharpen okay it kind of sharpens up our stars we'll select the green filtered process and sharpen finally the blue process and sharpen. Alright, now we've sharpened our images. Okay, the next thing we can do is we can actually adjust the amount of light coming in through each filter. So let's start with the red. So using our toolbar over here, our adjust image, we can actually change the contrast. We can make it be brighter. We can bring up the contrast on the bottom. And this is just kind of by your eye. So adjust it so we can start to see some of the nebular images coming out here. So you just take your time and you adjust this to get it where you see the most detail as possible. So once you get the image kind of where you want it adjusted wise, then just go ahead and work with the other images. Okay, the red filter is probably going to be the easiest to see. The blue filter is probably going to be the hardest because light has trouble getting through the blue filter. So you might not see as much detail on the blue filter, but just get this kind of you know, aligned as best you can. Get the green filter up here. You know, adjust the green filter. You just kind of play around with this until you get the image to pop as much as possible. So we're looking at over here in this image to kind of get the, the nebular region to really pop out. Okay, so maybe somewhere around there. You know, it's hard to adjust. Okay, so now we've adjusted these to get them nice and pretty. So now we want to color the correct filters. Okay, so to start, we have the green nebula selected, so we're going to go to Process, Color Tables, we're going to color it green. Okay. Now let's do the blue. So select the blue, Process, Color Table, and Blue. And then finally the red, Process, Color Table, and Red. Okay, so now we have three different colored images. Now we want to stack them and align our images. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and close my adjust image. I'm going to go to process, stack, and I'm going to convert images to stack. Alright, now they're all stacked one on top of each other. So you can move through them. You can actually see that our images aren't quite aligned on top of each other. So we can shift them to align them. So again, go to process and select shift. Alright, so we're going to shift them on top of each other. So the background image, I find the red image to be useful for the background, so I'm going to put red in the background. 
And let's start, we'll put green on top of red. All right, so what you're doing is you're literally aligning the stars with one another. So you can align it by dragging the image across the screen. You can use this magnification box over here in the right-hand corner to see a little bit more clearly. You can change that magnification, let's say, to two times or four times the size. All right, so I see these two stars here. So I'm going to try to align those. So where are those two stars on the background red image? Oh, they appear to be right here. So I'm going to align those right around there. So I'm going to zoom in and see how good I did. I'm get this line as close as possible. That looks pretty darn close for the green. All right, now let's do the blue. So on the foreground image, go ahead and select blue. So same idea. We're going to move the stars to align them. So these two stars here are good pointer stars. You might have other stars you're aligning on your image, like maybe these two stars down here. All right, so align these. I'm going to take those stars, line them up. And then I come over here to the magnified view, and I just, okay, I can see I'm not quite aligned. So I'm going to get these as aligned as close as possible. All right, that looks pretty darn close. Once they're nice and aligned, go ahead and select OK in the bottom of the image. So select OK. Now when we scroll through our stack, we'll see the stars are nice aligned on top of each other. All right, last thing to do is to make this a colored image. So go ahead and go to Process. Stack, Convert Stack to RGB. So select Convert Stack to RGB. And voila! It's our colored image. You might think, well, geez, that's not really all that colorful, but if you look right in here, oops, I always do that. <laughs> if you look right in this area, you can see you've got the kind of reddish regions of the Eagle Nebula and so forth. Alright, so the next important thing for this class is to save your file in the correct format. So let's go ahead, we'll select it and go to File, Save As. I want you to save it as a GIF file. This way we can see it in a, in a photo viewing program on our computers. So select GIF. Okay, I'm going to save it in my same file. So this would be my file, so I'm Professor Colby, so I'll say it's, it's my file, so it's Colby. It was the Eagle Nebula, so the professor knows what the nebula was. And then I also need to type the .gif, okay? That way the file format comes out correctly. So make sure you include the .gif and go ahead and click Save. Okay, and you'll see the image pops up in the background over here. Okay, and that's the colored image you have. Now to submit your image for lab, all you need to do is put that image into an email and email it to me and you're done with lab and I will be compiling these and we can view everyone's image they made for the entire class. Alright, hope that tutorial was um, helpful and good luck making your colored images.